This is my homemade bomb shelter. And tonight I'm gonna stay overnight inside of it. It's gonna be like a sleepover, except for it's cold, wet, there's dirt in there. There's probably spiders in there. Lonely, depressing, out in the middle of the woods. So this is the start of it and it goes all the way back here. Basically to right here is still a bomb shelter. And here's the secret entrance that I built. So as you can see, we already have a spider. So that's, I, that's pretty fun, I guess. If you zoom past the spider, there's a bunch of mud on the inside and it's cold, it's wet. We need to get it prepared to sleep in because I'm terrified of its current state. So step one, I'm gonna take off this roof because I think I'd rather just sleep inside the pipe instead of having this whole open area full of mud, spiders, possibly a snake. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Well, one, two. There's only two spiders in there, so I should be fine. Okay guys, so I think my plan is, I don't really wanna be sleeping down in this, this really dirty, muddy looking space. I do not wanna be sleeping here. So I think I'm just gonna close off this part of the bomb shelter and just have a pipe. I think it'd be pretty cool sleeping inside of this pipe. I mean, definitely not this mud where spiders everywhere. I'm gonna make something that closes off this part. But first I probably need to clean this out a little. So I'm gonna clean from this, I'm gonna clean from this side to that side. All right, it's time for my favorite part, cleaning it out. Oh gosh. This is bringing back PTSD. My eyes. Oh gosh. Oh, this is actually kind of comfortable. I think I could sleep here easily. It's just that I need to figure out a way to not have any bugs in here. It's pretty comfortable lying in there. It's just, the, I, the problem I have is that um, there could possibly be bugs in there and I need to find out a way to get rid of all the bugs because I'm not sleeping in there comfortably with a bunch of bugs in there with me. All right guys, so as you can see, I got pretty dusty in there. Um, but I'm gonna start sealing this side. <laughs> all right, it's time to seal this side off. And I have a piece of tin to help me do that. Now that we got the end a little sealed with this tin, I'm gonna fill all this up with dirt because this was just kind of a useless space that I shouldn't have even made. All right, so it's covered in dirt. This side is sealed very well. As you can see back there, it is sealed. It's completely black, but my camera's still picking up back there. Anyway, I think next step is to build a door for this side because I don't know if I want it to be opened and exposed while I'm sleeping in there tonight. 18 inches. So it looks like I need to go and make a round 18 inch door. So I was gonna custom make an 18 inch door, but then I started thinking, what is something that's round and already 18 inches? And that's when I had a stroke of brilliance and I went and got an 18 inch tire to put inside this um put as the door as you can see if it's pretty snugly snugly if it's pretty snug um I might need to air it up a little bit more so it's a little tighter but so this is a good shortcut and compromise for a door other than the fact that it looks completely goofy but I don't mind that all right to make it easier to sleep in there tonight I'm gonna put these floor mats on the ground so I'm not just lying on straight concrete. All right, so I got two in there. I think two is plenty. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have some pillows and blankets in there with me tonight. So it shouldn't be too bad sleeping in there. So I'm gonna leave it as it is for a couple hours. I'm gonna come back when it's getting closer to bedtime and get it prepared. 
and finish getting it prepared to sleep in tonight. I, I think it should be fine. It's gonna get cold tonight, but other than that, it should be fine. A few hours later. I'm on my way to the pipe to go to bed. Um, it's a little cold, but it'll be fine. Um, I got another pillow. I'm gonna be lying on two pillows pretty much. And I think that should be plenty. I mean, my feet will be hanging off, but. Man, it echoes bad, but I think it's spacious enough. I'll probably be able to fall asleep. Bro, what the heck is that sound? This is how dusty it is in here. So this is what it's like. Um, it's tight. It's close quarters. Um, but it's long enough, that's for sure. So I should be fine. I'm gonna get in, set up the camera, and try to go to sleep. All right, guys. So I'm setting up. I'm setting up the time lapse, and I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully. All right, so, oh wait, this this isn't too bad. It's like a vlog inside of a pipe. <laughs> um, it's this is like this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. I don't think I'm gonna put the door on it anymore because it's just it'd be too much work to try and put it on right now while I'm laying here comfortably. Also, this is very close quarters. Like filming is hard in here. Like I'm ho I'm just holding the phone right up at the top. Yeah, we got the time lapse going, and I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. And if I see you sooner, it's probably because I'm updating on something horrible that happened. I'm probably gonna survive though. Emphasis on the word probably. My neck is sore right now, so I'm gonna go to bed. So I saw a comment the other day that perfectly sums up this video. Anyway, this is the time lapse of me trying to fall asleep. It actually wasn't that uncomfortable inside the pipe. I think maybe since it was like circular, it wasn't that bad to sleep on. Let me know in the comments if you think that makes sense or not. Anyway, I did end up falling asleep until... Good morning. Well, it's not morning yet. It's like... It's, I think it's like 2 o'clock-ish. I just got up to take a leak, but I'm about to go back to bed. Feels kind of weird saying this, but I'm actually excited to get back in the pipe. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. I already set up the camera and everything, so I'm kind of awake. How do I get out of this thing? Well, I woke up on the later side. I woke up several times, I was just like, I wanna keep flying here because it was pretty comfortable in there. So I slept in there about till nine. I'm definitely never doing that again, but it was good last night. It wasn't the best night, but it wasn't the worst either. I think there were a couple bugs in there last night. That was, that was the sketchiest part. Anyway, that's it for overnight in a homemade bomb shelter. Um, I'll see you guys next time.